Hi everyone. So our today's experiment is to determine the resistance of voltmeter by drawing a graph between resistance and one over volt. Now the circuit diagram, as you can see, uh, we have the voltmeter and high resistance box and battery. So all these components are connected in series combination. One thing you must be note that. The negative terminal of the battery should be connected to the negative and the positive terminal of the battery should be connected to the positive terminal of the battery. So uh, after getting some data we plot the graph between 1 over V and R. Okay. Now let us move towards the experiment. So this is our experimental setup. This is the voltmeter whose resistance we are going to find. This is high resistance box and this is a key and this is battery. So we have connected this positive terminal with the positive terminal of the battery and the negative terminal is from the key to a high resistance box and goes in a negative terminal of the voltmeter. So let's perform. We perform uh, this uh, uh, practical by first of all we first of all we insert this key into the plug and uh, as you can see the deflection in the galvanometer it is on it is on 1.5 volt. Okay. Now we plug uh, out some uh, resistance from uh, this uh, resistance box and note the corresponding reading as we plugged out uh, the 2000 resistance from the high resistance box and we note the corresponding reading uh, in the voltmeter as you can see it is exactly on uh, 0.9. So we note this reading that we note this observation. So uh, we note this uh, observation we have 2000 ohm resistance from high resistance box and we got 0.9 volt on voltmeter reading and if we find 1 over voltage so we get 1.1. Now let's proceed our uh, second reading. Uh, first of all, here we put the resistance of uh, resistance of 1000 ohm from high resistance box. As you can see, the total resistance is now 2000 and 1000. It is 3000, and we note the corresponding reading on the galvanometer. Oh, sorry, on the voltmeter. So we need we re, uh, we write the uh, reading of uh, voltmeter. It is exactly on 0.8 volt. We note this observation. Okay, we have uh, observed 3000 ohm resistance from uh, high resistance box, and the co total corresponding uh, voltage drop uh, is 0.8, and uh, its 1 over V is 1.25. Okay, now let's. Now we move towards the third observation. We plug out a resistance from high resistance box. As you can see, there is a total resistance of 3500 ohm from high resistance box and we note corresponding reading of voltmeter. As you can see, the reading is on 0.7 volt. So we note this observation in table. Now we note this observation, we have 3500 ohm from high resistance box and corresponding reading of voltmeter is 0.7 volt and we, uh, if we find the reciprocal we will find 1.40. Now let's move towards next observation. So now we move towards the next uh, observation. We plug out uh, some suitable resistance from high resistance box. So as we have plugged out 6400 uh, ohm from high resistance box as you can see. So let's note the corresponding reading from the voltmeter. So as you can see the voltmeter is exactly on 5.5 volt. It is exactly on 0.5 volt. We note this observation in the table. So uh, we uh, uh, make this observation. 
इट वॉज सिक्सटी फोर हंड्रेड ओहम फ्राम हाई रजिस्टर्स बॉक्स एंड द कोरोस्पोडिंग रीडिंग वॉज पॉइंट फाइव एंड इट्स रेसी प्रोकल इज टू पॉइंट जीरो वोल्ट सो लेट्स मूव टूवर्ड्स द नेक्स्ट ऑब्जर्वेशन now let's move towards the uh, next observation we plug out some suitable resistance from high resistance box and uh, as you can see we have plugged out some resistance from here it is a, a t900 and we note the corresponding reading uh, from the voltmeter as you can see uh, this voltmeter reading shows that the uh, pointer is exactly on 0.4 volt so let's we note this observation in table okay we will note this observation uh, the our resistance from high resistance box was 8900 and corresponding reading on the voltmeter was 0.4 volt and its reciprocal is 2.5 so in similar way we will find other readings so we have completed a set of observation now we move towards graph so let's proceed towards the graph first of all we draw x axis y axis along x axis we will take resistance and along y axis we will take 1 over voltage so first of all let's move towards the scale in scale we take one big box uh, along x axis we take one big box uh, 4000 ohm while some small box is uh, we divide this this just this quantity by 10 and we will 400 ohm and similar way one big box along y axis we we will take uh, one volt and uh, one small box uh, it will be 0.1 uh, volt per meter sorry 0.1 per volt now let's draw the point so as we know our uh, reading uh, our fir uh, first observation was what was our first observation it is uh, it was 2000 ohm and corresponding reading was 0.9 and uh, 1 over v was 1.1 so we uh, draw this point first of all so we will move five uh, small boxes along x axis 1 2 3 4 5 so this will give uh, me the value of 2000 ohm so uh, i will mark this this is uh, 2000 ohm resistance and the corresponding uh, observation was 0.9 so i move in 9 boxes along y axis 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so this is 9 box uh, sorry this is 9 box and i make uh, the line parallel to x axis and uh, from this point i make the uh, line parallel to y axis and where these two line intersect each other we will get a point so this is our first point okay in similar way we draw the second point let's move towards the second point so we plot uh, other point uh, our reading was uh, 3000 uh, ohm along x axis and along y axis it was 1.25 so as you can see uh, 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 we move uh, uh, 7.5 uh, boxes so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and half so this uh, cut gives us 3000 ohm resistance so this is 3000 ohm resistance and uh, from uh, along uh, x uh, y axis we move uh, one point this is 1.1 this is 1.2 this is 1.25 so uh, this point gives <coughs> us 1.25 reading and uh, we make so we make uh, perpendicular normal from this line and uh, from this point so where these two uh, lines intersect each other 
we will get our second point so this is our second point so in, in similar way we plot other point so we have plotted all the points as you can see now we uh, now we join these points and uh, proceed towards the negative x axis so let's we do this now we will join these uh, points uh, uh, as you can see we are plotting we are joining these points okay now proceed uh, this graph towards the negative x axis and see where it uh, cuts the negative x axis so as you can see this uh, graph uh, cut over there and uh, now the resistance as you can see you can read from uh, this scale and uh, this scale shows that the uh, galvanometer reading is 30 to 100 ohm so resistance of uh, our uh, voltmeter from the graph as you can see uh, it is 3200 voltmeter so that's all from today's lecture